I'm Ricardo from the Visa Developer team. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get credentials to connect to the Visa Developer Sandbox through two-way SSL authentication. Then we're going to test that connection using Postman. For beginners or anyone who wants to know what two-way SSL is, then pause this video and start by watching our What is Mutual Authentication tutorial to learn about what happens during a SSL handshake and why we use it to secure a connection. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna log into my Visa Developer account and from the dashboard, create a new project. Let's call this project Visa Dev Credentials Tutorial. From here, you can select the API you are hoping to use. For this demo, let's select the Foreign Exchange Rate API. All right. Now let's go ahead at the bottom and choose the default option, generate a CSR for me, and click Create Project. That'll bring up a pop-up message prompting you to save your certificate private key. We're going to download and copy the certificate private key. You can only download this key once, in other words, at this very moment. So remember to save your private key. Great. Now, after you've downloaded and saved the private key, click on the confirmation, then continue. At that point, you'll be redirected to the project you created. The full list of APIs under the foreign exchange rates will be listed here. Let's click on the API reference. I'm gonna open this in a new tab as we'll need this in a bit, and I'll come back to that later. Remember, in order to make a connection to the Visa Developer Sandbox environment using two-way SSL, you need one, a private key, two, a client certificate, and three, a certificate authority root certificate. We already downloaded our private key, so now we're gonna walk through where to find the remaining two. Let's go back to the project dashboard. And on the left navigation, there is a credentials tab. Let's click it. You'll see we have the project certificate and credentials. We also have the user ID and password. And here we can download the certificate. This will be your client certificate. Let's click on the download certificate to download your project certificate. Be sure to store your project certificate and the private key to a folder that you can easily access but keep confidential and stay organized. The next section, you'll see common certificates. Let's download the first one named Visa Development Platform Certificate. This will be your Certificate Authority Root Certificate. Next, let's download this DigiCert Certificate. We can store all of these in the same folder, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now we have all three things we need to create a two-way SSL connection, a private key, a client certificate, and a client authority root certificate. Something to keep in mind, if you are using SOAP UI to connect to our sandbox, you will need to create a key store before you test in the sandbox. But since we are using Postman, that is not required. So we can avoid that extra step and start testing. Postman is a free and open source API development and testing solution and can be downloaded online. Once it's open, let's go to settings, add certificate. Under host, type in sandbox.api.visa.com. For the CRT file, let's add the cert.pem we downloaded. Choose the file from the folder here and upload. For the key file or your private key, let's add that as well from the same folder. Choose the file here and upload. Okay, now let's add this certificate to Postman settings. Next, we wanna connect our Visa API project to our local Postman. All right, let's go back to our project dashboard and check out the API reference link from that new tab I created. There, you'll see what request attributes are needed as well as the response attributes listed. You'll also see we have an API Explorer, which you can use to play around. It includes the request method, 
the endpoint we need to hit, the headers we need, and a sample payload in the body that we can use. All right, let's get to the good stuff and actually check all of this, but using our own certificates in Postman. So we're going to take this endpoint and put it into the URL on Postman. There, you want to change it from get to post. Now, let's copy the payload and in Postman, paste it in the body. It's important that you change the body settings here to raw and JSON slash application. OK, let's double check everything. We have the URL. We have the request method. And we have it as application slash JSON. Now, all we need is the authorization. We can find that in our project dashboard. Once we're there, we have to go to credentials. And you'll see the username and password here. Now, let's head to Postman and to Authorization. And in the dropdown for type, make sure it says Basic Auth. Copy and paste your username, then copy and paste your password. Now we have everything we need, so let's run the endpoint. Look at that. You'll see the response, which means we have successfully connected to this API using two-way SSL. We did it. We created a Visa developer project and established a two-way SSL connection to the sandbox using Postman. We've got plenty of tutorials for you to watch. Just make sure to check them out on our community for the full playlist. While you're there, connect with other developers on our forum. And since you're a pro at two-way SSL now, impart a little bit of your wisdom to help others. Thanks for watching.